Hey friends, Coach Maria here with The Herbal Flower. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, share, because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. So, now that Thanksgiving is over, um, I'm sure many of you did the tradition of eating all kinds of foods from the chitlins, hot malts, uh, pigtails, um, greens with meat in it, macaroni and cheese, what else? I don't know, potato salad, all the stuff that contains animal products that's, you know, not the best thing to eat, but you're used to that tradition. So I understand. Um, I really hope you had a good time together with your family. Um, that's what I used that time for. Um, just the, what I do, I ate some greens, most mostly greens, some veggie greens is what I had um, for Thanksgiving and the day before. I had a lot of greens. Um, but anywho, that's besides the point. So it's time for y'all to get back on track. For those who have HSV, um, for those who have any other disorder they're, they're dealing with or disease, or if you just want to cleanse your body out from all the junk that you have put in, um, December 1st, I will be doing a three-day fruit feast with a twist. And I'll tell y'all why it's with a twist and so on and so on. But today is December or November 28th. Um, I'm put my camera here. Can you see? November 28th, we have two more days left in this month, and then it's going to be a brand new month, which is December 1st. Now, most of you all who follow me are dealing with, you know, that dis-ease. Y'all working on eradicating it. So, um, when you do start on your fruit feast with a twist, uh, make sure you're using that website that I put out there for y'all to make sure you're not consuming anything that's high in arginine or you can use the herpes fruit list. Um, eat some of those fruits on there, right? Um, but for the fruit feast with a twist, the reason I'm doing it with a twist, as y'all know, I had baby girl, baby girl's doing really good, but um, I want to make sure that I'm eating enough calories to make sure my milk and everything is good. So the way my dad's going to follow, and I will be documenting, and I promise to post every single day to keep y'all motivated from December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, um, to keep you all motivated. Um, and I'll post that video up again at nighttime, 8 p.m. Eastern time is the middle night is the new time. Anywho, so um, December 1st, 2nd, 3rd, I'm going to be posting up those videos. Um, and the reason I'm doing it with the twist again is to make sure my milk production is just fine um, with breastfeeding. Now, what I plan on doing, most likely I've been fasting. Um, it just kind of happened. It wasn't intentional, but I've been fasting since I've had her. No eating before 12 because I really don't have an appetite or I'm just too tired or sleeping. Um, and it just falls at that time. So I'll be fasting um, until noon. Once the noon hit, I want to eat fruit. Just fruit, fruit, fruit. I'm going to dog out on fruit. You can have smoothie bowls with fruit or you can have um, smoothies, right, with fruit. And then the twist part um, at nighttime, um, whenever I decide, I don't know the exact time, but you will see more on the video. At nighttime, I will do um, a salad, um, just a raw salad. So that's the twist part, because again, I want to make sure I'm eating enough, um, and I don't, or I don't get too sick or have any detox symptoms when breastfeeding, baby girl. So friends, if you're one who a poorly for Thanksgiving and again the traditional pig butt pig ears um pig intestines um macaroni and cheese which is noodles and cheese which is milk right um dairy all that good stuff or bad stuff if you are one who did that and you have HSV you need to do the cleanse yes you need to do the cleanse. Or if you're one who just want to cleanse out your body from dealing with all that junk that you ate for the holiday, then this is for you as well. Um, again, I'm going to document every day so y'all can be in tune with me. I can be in tune with y'all. Um, but it's really important for y'all to cleanse out the body. You cannot go without cleansing out your body. It's going to eventually lead to dis-ease, um, all kind of disorders, right? And we don't want that to happen because we're living long, healthy lives and eradicating dis-ease at the same time. So, friends, that's all for this video. Um, stay tuned for December 1st for me to drop the first video. I'm going to do my very best to do a um, grocery run. Um, 
I'm gonna try to record it on my phone. I don't know how the quality will be, but again, we're gonna get it figured out and just bear with me um, with posting it. So friends, what I'll do is see y'all in the next video. Continue to drink your water, continue to do the protocol, continue to fast, continue to pray, continue, continue to meditate, continue to be on the right path to eradicate this ease. I have a lot of good things coming up um, for y'all. I'll just say that um, I'm still at one video a week just because of baby girl. Um, but again, I'm getting into the groove of feeling better. Yes. Um, birth story coming soon. A lot of people have asked about that. And I'll get that out to y'all because let me tell y'all, it was crazy. But friends, I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Um, and yeah, have a good night. Ciao. Thank you.